Command your file name Classified grade E8 Master Sergeant U.S. Army Birthplace classified Primary specialty Infantry secondary specialty Hand-to-hand -hand combat instructor Qualified expert All NATO and Warsaw Pact Small arms Black belt and 12 different fighting systems And highly skilled in the use of edged weapons Has received extensive training in mountaineering Underwater demolitions Jungle Desert and Arctic survival, as well as some form of holistic medicine. Graduated Airborne Ranger Ricardo in Arctic Survival Schools for Bird Weapon, Any Edged Weapon or Uzi. Snake Eyes is proficient in 12 different unarmed fighting systems. Karate, Kung Fu, Jiu Jitsu, just to name a few. And he is highly skilled in the use of edged weapons. Subject was Ranger qualified and graduated from Ricardo School and did not train prior to his service with a long way in Ricardo. Patrol unit in Southeast Asia. It is generally accepted that he received extensive training in mystic martial arts from the same ninja family that produced Storm Shadow. No official records in existence. Snake Eyes was living an ascetic existence alone in the high Sierras with a fat wolf named Timber when he was recruited for the G.I. Joe team. Although he is as equally adept with submachine guns as he is with swords, Snake Eyes is most dangerous and unpredictable when he's armed and cornered. When Hawk went to Snake Eyes' cabin to recruit him for duty with Stalker, the silent ninja was out hunting rabbits barehanded. Submitted by Stalker. Well, we need somebody to sneak up on Class A. Major bad guy and pop a can of whoop ass on him. Snake Eyes is the man for the job. The bad guy for being a fortress on top of a sheer cliff. But that won't bother old Snake Eyes none. He just whip out his hand, he grapple it on missile and use it to shimmy his way up the cliff face until he cornered the culprit, threw him down, and took his name. General Hawk's foul. Snake Eyes was tempered on the anvil of light until he was as dangerous as a razor edged sword flailing in the dark. The G.I. Joe team sheathed that sword and harnessed its deadly energy. But even they are wont to forget that even within the safety of its scabbard, the blade retains its cutting edge. He's generally regarded as the primo baddest dude of all the G.I. Joes. Special Mission Force. Its purpose? To defend human freedom against COBRA, a ruthless terrorist organization determined to rule the world. Yeah. 